Why do I get the feeling she's getting ready to cause trouble? Whoa, they really have thought of everything. Even the Phaetometer is here and ready to go for us. The Phaetometer? What's that? It's a card that's used to determine action success or failure. We'll need to use it when we try to use certain skills. And what about all the dessert and tea? Is that for us as well? That's what the message said. Oh, really? That's so nice! It feels just like a tea party with friends! Those snacks have Paimon's name written all over them! <laughs> I think you might be more of a snack hunter than a Mara Shose hunter, Paimon. Snack hunter Paimon reported for duty! If there are delicious snacks to be found, Paimon will track down every last one! The desserts are great, <laughs> but I'm still looking forward to the story more than anything. <laughs> Very fair. Then, let us begin. First, please pick up the blank character cards in front of you, and write down your name and profession. You can find an abbreviated version of the rules printed on the back of your character card. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. In this story, everyone is a Mara Chaussee hunter. To reflect this, the club has prepared a small badge for everyone. Ooh, nice! As hunters, you have proficiency in swordsmanship and fighting by default, so there's no need to allocate any additional skill points to those areas. Swordsmanship? So there's a fighting part to all of this? Um, Paimon's not sure she can do all that on her own. Maybe Paimon can just stick with you? Why don't you share a character card then? The Traveler will be the Mara Chaussee Hunter, and you can be her little floating assistant. <laughs> ah, kind of like in real life. So, for the name, do I fill it out with the name of my character? Yep. It can be any name you like. You can use your real name too if you want. I do that whenever I get too lazy to think of a new name. Oh, so it would be like, uh, like experiencing a different life, but still as yourself. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Hmm, in that case, I think I'll continue to use the name Linny then. Next up is the skill sheet. You have a limited amount of skill points that you can use to learn a number of skills. The more points you invest in a particular skill, the easier it will be to pass associated checks. Hmm. I'll take... Persuasion and Investigation. Those are must-haves when it comes to missions like these. Oh, those skills sound like they'd be useful for gathering intelligence! Good idea, Navia! Just as expected of a veteran player. Hmm... So, should we also take those skills, then? Not necessarily. Since we're working together as a team, we could leave the negotiations to Navia and use our skill points to pick up other useful skills. For example, I think I'll take Stealth and Sleight of Hand. That will give us more options if we run into any situations we can't negotiate our way out of. Oh, interesting! I wasn't thinking about it like that. I suppose it's not so different from an acting troupe. Everyone has their own role to play. Let me see. I'll take art and performance. I'm not quite sure what use they'll be, but I'm not as knowledgeable about the other skills. And uh, I'm not too confident I'd be able to roleplay them well. Well, that leaves us. What do you want to learn, Traveler? Ho <laughs> ha! Gotta say, this suits you really well. Nothing boosts morale like good food. Ooh, so you want to help people when they're injured. That's nice of you. So what do you think? Are you sure you want to learn these two skills? Sure, what do you want to learn? Oh, something that'll help you get a read on other people's thoughts. Sounds useful. Ooh, so you want to help people when they're injured. That's nice of you. So what do you think? Are you sure you want to learn these two skills? Let's see... Hmm... Oh, 
Looks like you each have enough points to choose one final skill. You've all picked such classic skills. It's fine to go a little bit out of the box, you know. Why do I get the feeling she's getting ready to cause trouble? For example, this one here. Summon. Doesn't it sound super mysterious and cool? Oh, oh, I saw that one just now as well. The uh, description says, This skill can be used under certain circumstances to summon characters or creatures that fit the script's world-building rules. The script's world-building rules, huh? Hmm. But how are we supposed to know what a Mara Shose hunter can summon? Oh, that's not for us to worry about, my friend. Just learn the skills that interest you, and the GM will take care of the rest. <sighs> All right, you've convinced Paimon. Let's learn summon, then. Paimon can't wait to see what kind of thing shows up. Well, now that everyone's more or less finished creating their characters, we can begin. Since two of our players are doing this for the first time, though, let me ask. Would you like to play on easy mode or authentic mode? Uh, what's the difference between the two? Well, in role-playing games, the story sometimes changes based on the decisions of the players and the results of the Phaetometer. For example, if you fail a check, that means you cannot use the target skill in that scenario. A critical failure may even result in further negative consequences. If you choose to play in authentic mode, every time you elect to use a skill, you'll need to use the Phaetometer to see whether you succeed or fail, and face any consequences that may follow. If you choose easy mode instead, every check will be successful by default and you won't have to worry about luck playing a factor. Hmm... Given that I'd like to focus on the story, I suppose I should pick easy mode. I'd feel bad if I brought the team down by failing my checks. Huh? Oh, come on. Don't worry about that. RNG is the lifeblood of role-playing games. I'm going with authentic mode for sure. Never knowing what you might have to overcome. Ugh, doesn't that sound exciting? Um, I, I'd rather be mentally prepared for what might happen. All right, then I'll mark down Farina for easy mode. All her checks will be successful by default. As usual, Navia and Linny will play on authentic mode. What about you, dear partner? How would you like to play? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. No need to worry about the pesky Phaetometer. Pretty good choice if you just want to relax and play the game. Honestly, I don't think Clorand would make things too difficult for us no matter what the Phaetometer says. Isn't that right, Clorand? <laughs> no promises. Ah, uh, that wasn't super reassuring. Well, anyway, enough talk. Let's get started. I want to experience at least a good chunk of the story today. Speaking of the story, why is the beginning scene on a beach? Well, that's because... <clears throat> a long time ago... Back when human civilization was still in its infancy, powerful demons and evil sorcerers ruled over the land. They created a host of monsters and sent them to slaughter all humans in existence. Soon, a group of human rebels banded together. With their swords raised, they swore to brave the darkness and in doing so, subdue each and every monster that sought their destruction. They became known as the Mara Shosei Hunters. Some time later, as a member of the Mara Shosei Hunters, you receive a commission. Following the address provided on the message, you take a boat and arrive at this strange city. As you inhale, 
You can taste the slightly salty air of the docks as you begin to survey your surroundings. There aren't many people in the vicinity, but you do take note of a few others who, like you, seem to be sizing up this place. Your eyes meet, and you realize these people are fellow Marashose hunters, likely led to this location after receiving the same commission as you. You're all Marashose hunters too, right? Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Navia, monster hunter by trade and helpful neighborhood businesswoman on the side. What say you to traveling together? We can help each other out on the road. Okay, count me in. My name is Linny. I've been wandering since I was little and picked up a few less than legal tricks along the way. I was adopted by Amara Shosei Hunter and, later, chose to follow in his footsteps. Uh, is this where you introduce your character to everyone? It sounds like they've done this dozens of times. <clears throat> My name is Farina, and, um, I grew up in a noble family. I always had a strong interest in performance and the arts. Even though I'm a Marsha Say hunter, what I really want is to be a performing artiste. Hey, that's really cool. You can do it, Farina. That's exactly how it's done. Paimon is Paimon, a good friend and companion to this Marsha Say hunter right here. I've been studying medicine ever since I was a child. I want to do my part to eradicate these monsters and use what I've learned to heal others. Oh, welcome, welcome. When we face the monsters, I'll make sure to charge in front to give everyone some cover. You can take care of the healing at the back. You open your envelopes at the same time. The message reads, To the honorable and trustworthy Mara Shosei Hunters, our kingdom is currently facing a grave crisis. The lands outside the capital have been overtaken by monsters, and our people are being led astray by forces of wickedness. We beseech you, please help us resolve this crisis and return peace and stability to our home. Huh. The layout of this city looks super familiar. It kind of reminds Paimon of Mondstadt! The scriptwriter must have used a real-world city as a reference when coming up with the map. <clears throat> As experienced hunters, the layout of the city reminds you of places once traveled. You recall the sight of tree-lined streets and the gentle tranquility of days gone by. Yet, as you regard the city in front of you, it appears to be little more than an empty shell. Its hollow gates are open to you, beckoning you to come forth and bring salvation back to the town. I carefully read every line of the letter and turn my attention to the signatures at the bottom. Who issued this commission to us? You see a long string of unfamiliar names. It would seem that many of the residents of the city issued this commission together. They sensed that things were not right within the kingdom and sent a distress signal to the outside world. Hmm. In that case... Why don't we take a walk around the city, and see if we can learn anything from the local residents? Oh, good idea! We might be able to get some leads on the monsters and bad guys we're after. You look up, and see a tavern nearby. It appears to be open for the day. Why don't we go check out that tavern? If the novels I've read are anything to go by, taverns are usually full of information. As you approach the tavern, you find a plainly dressed woman standing nearby. She appears to be rather troubled about something. Greetings, friend. Lovely weather we're having today, don't you think? Oh, hello. I suppose you're right. The weather today is quite lovely. 
If only those monsters out there would stop causing trouble. It seems like every character included in the script has a certain amount of useful information to offer. If we keep asking questions, we might be able to get some good leads. Oh, come now, don't be sad. Life is all about optimism. Oh, that reminds me. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, huh? I don't think that's the kind of question we're supposed to ask. Nothing turns a frown upside down like good food. How about some macarons? I could make you some. You didn't even take cooking as one of your skill proficiencies. Uh, that's not necessary, miss. Excuse me for saying this, but you don't really look like a chef. Besides, I'm not really a fan of sweets. So you're someone who barely smiles, and doesn't like sweets. Hmm. You're really starting to remind me of this one friend of mine. <laughs> hey! Did she just... Huh? Me? <sighs> Clorian must have broke character for a second. <sighs> this isn't getting us anywhere. Um, Traveler, maybe you can think of something. The results of insight checks aren't disclosed to the players, so I'll be the one consulting the Phaetometer. <clears throat> you recall all the lessons you've learned in your time, and begin to carefully observe the woman's mannerisms. You notice that when she's quiet, she has an empty look in her eyes as if her thoughts have drifted to a place far, far away. And when she speaks, she often subconsciously reaches out to touch the ring on her left hand. Ah, uh, so you noticed. That's a little embarrassing. <sighs> a horde of monsters suddenly appeared near the capital recently, so all the guards were dispatched to fight them. Do you remember when those monsters appeared? Uh, I'm not completely sure. All I know is that my husband was dispatched to fight them three days ago. Do you know where he was sent? It all happened so fast. When we said our goodbyes, he couldn't even tell me where they were sending him. You have our thanks, friend. We'll find and defeat those monsters as soon as possible. We sincerely hope your husband will be able to return to your side soon. Oh, thank you. Don't worry. We'll find him. Just try to remain optimistic and wait for good news. We don't always get to choose what happens to us. But we do get to choose the little things like what we eat and how we respond to the things life throws our way. I hope that one day, you too will recognize the power of something as small and inconsequential as a delicious dessert. I... I'll do my best. You bid farewell to the woman, and continue your journey further into the city. <laughs>